New Zealand has won the toss uh, and they will bat first this afternoon. Here we go, we've got um, Jess Jonathan taking the first ball. Stray's leg side. And will cost her four. That will make her certainly smart. Last ball of the over, and that's going to be fine enough to run away from four for four. So an expensive over for shoot. She concedes 11, and New Zealand, none for 16, up to two. So Sophie Molyneux, and gets her straight away. That's what Sophie can do. She creates a mistake and capitalises. What a beauty. So Molyneux starts in style and the Aussies fight back. So New Zealand, three overs, one for 17. Oh. And now just Jonathan creates an error. Come on, Wolf. Bates, unlucky, but Bates lucky though. And a running mishap. We'll have a look at that. I think the dive was significant from Maddie Green and might have got her home. Bells are removed, bat is in the air, ready to make my decision. My decision is out. I repeat, out, going to the lights now. Nice ball of this first over for Ash Gardner. Shouts of a catch it. But that was beautifully struck. Hit on the up and off for four. So Satterthwaite gets some confidence there in New Zealand. Two for 30 after five. Off straight. Did she get enough of that? I think she has. It'll run away for four. So Satterthwaite, a couple of boundaries, getting her eye in. Shot. She laughs and gets plenty of that. And shot was the call because it was beautiful. So Satterthwaite, by all reports coming into the first game, was in really good touch in the nets and we're starting to see it. Australian star, so it's great to have her in commentary. So we can shoot back into the lineup. And concedes four with her first delivery. It's amazing what 24 hours will do. Shoot, got four wickets yesterday. Could do nothing wrong. Leg side gets punished. Satterthwaite is certainly playing well today. Pick up top here at Allen Borderfield with lights where you feared for your life. Um, to now that we're looking at, you know, an incredible standard of international cricket being played as we have another boundary hit by Amy Satterthwaite. Probably sounds ludicrous to Victorian, but go with me. This is might interesting, Kurt. We, yeah, we might just have a look at this and we'll come back to you. Yeah. You can walk over there. Lisa Healy, what is going through your There's mind through all this? There's nothing going to be on the line. My decision is oh, out. It's out. Ask Amy. What'd she out. think? Out. That is a big call. Five innings. Plenty of that. And finds the gap. Maybe she has been given that uh, role. Yes. Bold. Beautifully bold. So Georgia Wareham's changed this game. Satisfied first. Now Jensen. Two for 16 for Wareham. Beautifully bold. Commence back into the air. Oh, in, in, in. She might have got an error straight away. She breaks through. She got two wickets yesterday. Gets another one today, and it's the big one. Susie Bates is gone, and Kamitz is able to get a big error from the star New Zealander. Ready to go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lux of fortune. That's what you can make from the giggle from Healy. You're flying. So it means, though, Richo, if, you, if your strike rate is perhaps a little bit oh. out. Well, that surprised Healy and surprised everyone. Oh, yes. Oh, bold. Oh, Molyneux breaks through again, and New Zealand are in tatters here. The Australian spinners have just ripped the heart out of New Zealand. I think the ultimate challenge, Meg does it extremely well, is to balance performing really well. Um, and also, uh, she gets hit for fourth. That's a stitch up, isn't it? After opportunity. Kerr's found the spot again, and there's the gap that's utilised. This is a frustrating over for Jess Jonathan. Catch that. It's lofted straight yeah! and caught. Beautifully caught. Nicola Carey's a great athlete in the field. 
And she can take the half chances there superbly. Kaminsk gets another. Boys at the stumps, bearing. The speed, this might run away for four. Haynes can't get there. Catch it. I'm, I'm being picky Lofton. now, aren't I? Carry again. Oh, you beauty. She's loving it out there. Takes two screamers. But high in the air and in big trouble and carries golden run continues two catches of the previous over he gets a wicket there and lanning takes the catch the australians i think will be exceptionally happy having bold new zealand out for a score under par here at allen border field rosemary mayor taking the first ball but mayor learned to be a, become a bowler she made the smarter decision <laughs> bowling to her brothers all the time this has been well timed. Yes, it has. It's run away for four. One of the fastest bowlers in the world. And striped through the covers for four. Beth Mooney, she's two for two. Oh, that's gone. Oh, to the boundary. Nice shape by Divine. Great but... shape, mate. Yeah, thank you, Katie. Oh. Whipped off her toes, superbly, great timing. Put the dig, Soph. That's superbly played. Well, the other thing that's interesting is Dodd is chasing the ball there to the boundary, and she is actually down as, as 12th. So who is off the field? We'll have to find that out. Got the most experienced players, but being hammered by Healy at the moment. She is just ready to launch. Well, Bates do. She lofts into the gap. And a couple of bounces over the rope, inside out. She is showing all the strokes in this over. Oh, beautifully played. She stays alive and keeps the strike. And then hammers over the top, down the ground. One of the fastest bowlers in the world, Tahuhu. In partnership 51 of 27. And now hits it a mile in the air and in big, big trouble. And well, Bates takes the catch. Healy. Beautiful play. How easy was that? Beautifully helped on its way, wasn't it? Catch. Yes. Gone. There's a big breakthrough and it's Mooney. So Kerr gets a wicket and that'll give her a lot of confidence and suddenly New Zealand might be back in the game. So a bit like Rachel Haynes there has just stepped across the wicket. In Meg's wheelhouse, we know she's so strong through the offside. So I'd love to see her perhaps give herself a little room, go a little bit towards the leg stump. That'll run away as well. So Haynes starts to accelerate and this partnership starts to loom large. Averages 52 in ODIs and 23 in Test Cricket. Whack! She looks like she's got plenty of that over the rope. And a nice little exclamation mark on our conversation into the 12th over. So 35 of 48. Nice and fine. That's four more. She's batting beautifully, Haynes. Beautifully placed and timed. Raced across the oval for four. Fine leg and not bowling. Straight down the ground. And oh! There's centimetres in, whether it's a four or a six, but beautifully struck. And then down the ground. And down the ground again. Oh! It was Nelly a beauty from Susie Bates. So the skipper drops it at her feet. And Australia take an unassailable lead in this series. Just too good, too classy, great bowling unit. And the depth of their batting is superb. And a 65-run partnership between 
two of their most experienced and dominant players in Meg Lanning and Rachel Haynes uh, has steered the Aussies to a, a very comfortable victory. They chase down 129 for victory and they do it in the 17th over, two for 129.